Welcome to the Senior Honors Assembly. I'm Christopher Kowalski, our Assistant Principal here at Bishop Hartley, and I will lead, be leading you through this evening's assembly. We'd like to start off with prayer, please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, thank you for the gift of this day and the gift that is the class of 2020 of Bishop Hartley High School. Please bless them with wisdom, strength, and courage to do your will as they prepare to embark on new beginnings. Thank you for the opportunity to celebrate their achievements, and while we cannot be together physically, we know that through your love and spirit, we will remain one within you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, we will hear our opening senior address by Genevieve Feaster. Dear fellow graduates, as I approached the end of my high school career and looked forward to graduation, I was convinced that in my four years here, I would never encounter anything harder than honors algebra two and trig with Mr. Kowalski and only passing my driving test after failing four times. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Before I knew it, COVID-19 came and tapped me on the shoulder. Actually, to many of us, I'm sure it was more of a slap in the face. Suddenly, the entire last part of our senior year, at least as we had imagined it, was gone. No prom, no more doing the service we had grown to love, no House Olympics with victory hoisting the cup and reclaiming its good name, by the way, yay whirly, and no certain future for graduation and college. Suddenly, everyone was locked in their homes, watching and waiting as an international death toll ticked upwards, and our reality became surreal. We watched as a chapter of our story was rewritten, and a sad history unfolded around us. We spoke through screens and platforms that didn't always work, wishing we could hug each other and see smiles that weren't pixelated, but knowing we were lucky to have even that. But Hawks, we are still here. We're staying connected, standing together, and showing this virus that we will not be beaten. As we've all heard and by now know, there are always times when life doesn't go the way you planned. There are always highs and lows, as we've talked about during retreats, bumps in the road, and problems that sometimes seem insurmountable. But that's also the beauty of life. Because, in book terms, every mishap and roadblock is a plot twist. It's part of the adventure. And there's always another chapter for you to write and to make even more memorable than the last one. For over three years, we have filled the halls of Bishop Hartley with so much love and laughter. And it's so sad to think that they are now empty. We've sat through infamous power outages. We've made friends and mistakes. We've learned invaluable lessons both in and out of the classroom that have broadened our perspectives. We've emerged victorious from AP Gov and from that one other class that you thought might bring you down. We've danced our hearts out at homecoming. We've hugged each other, mentored each other, cheered each other on. We've rocked the stage at the Performing Arts Center downtown and rocked sports fields across the state. We've cried tears of joy and stress and sadness, and we've learned that teachers are people too. And at Bishop Hartley, some of the best, most supportive and kindest people you'll ever meet. The worst thing we can do right now is let COVID-19 ruin that for any of us. Yes, we've had part of our senior year stolen. And no, this is not how any of us envisioned the culmination of our four years. But we still have had over three and a half memorable years here, full of all those things I've mentioned and so much more. No one and nothing can take that away from us. So hold tight to those memories. After this speech, or hey, even during it, use those fickle methods of communication to reach out to your friends and teachers and peers and let them know how much they mean to you and how much they are loved. Reminisce, laugh, dream, and look forward to a bright future.
because even and perhaps especially in tough times, Disney's Sherman Brothers were spot on when they said, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow, just a dream away. And when, years from now, we have kids and grandkids who want to know what it was like to live through the coronavirus pandemic of 2020, we are going to have one heck of a story to tell them. I wish you all the best of luck in the years to come. I have no doubt that you will all go on to better the world beyond your wildest dreams, and it's been an honor to be in this class with you. Thank you to the teachers, family, and friends, and staff who have supported us throughout this crazy ride. I think I speak for all of us when I say we are indebted to you for your love and mentorship. We would not be the people we are today without you. Thank you, congratulations, and go Hawks! Thank you, Genevieve. At this time, we will begin our presentation of awards. A certificate of merit is being presented to the following senior on behalf of the National Merit Scholarship Program for satisfying all of the criteria necessary to be named a National Merit Finalist in the 2020 competition. Bishop Hartley's finalist is Asia Salem Ector. Asia will attend John Hopkins University and major in neuroscience and public health. Letters of commendation are being awarded by the National Merit Scholarship Program for outstanding performance on the PSAT and selection as National Merit Commended Student to Elise Amirati and Gabrielle Tanner. Elise will attend the Rochester Institute of Technology and study industrial design. Ellie plans to attend Purdue University and major in chemical engineering. Elise Amirati, Olivia Hager, Genevieve Feaster, and Gabrielle Tanner are receiving valedictorian medals for ranking number one in the class of 2020. All students have perfect 4.0 cumulative GPAs. Olivia has been accepted to Vanderbilt University and will study human and organizational development. Genevieve will attend Denison University and major in English and creative writing. Sophia Segletti, Sydney Gordon, Gino Hoffman, and Lauren McFan are receiving salutatorian medals for having the second highest GPA in the class of 2020. Sophia will attend Ohio Wesleyan University. Sydney plans to attend William and Mary and major in biology. Gino has been accepted to the Ohio State University and will study statistics. Lauren will attend the University of Cincinnati and major in interior design. The Department of Education and the Diocese of Columbus has established an all diocesan academic team to recognize students who have excelled in academics. The Bishop Hartley student who has been named to this year's all diocesan honor team is Genevieve Feaster. The Honda Ohio State STEM Award Program recognizes a senior for outstanding ability in the science, technology, engineering, and math fields. This year's recipient is Gabrielle Tanner. To receive the President's Award, a student must earn a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.7 on a 4.0 scale by the end of the first semester of their senior year and either achieve in the 85th percentile or higher on reading and math sections of a standardized achievement test, such as the ACT or SAT, or be designated the top student in a senior core subject. The President's Award for Educational Excellence is being presented to the following students. The Department of Education of the Diocese of Columbus wants to recognize students who have consistently served their communities. Bishop Hartley's Bishop Herman Service Award nominee 
is a young woman who has shown her dedication, not only to her school and parish, but to the entire diocese serving the community at all levels. As an instrumental part of the CCL Day of Service for the past several years, this hawk has brought many people together and helped the diocese give back through Life Care Alliance, delivering meals to the homebound. She is persistent in volunteering at events like the St. Matthew's Christmas Bazaar, Hartley fundraisers, open house events, and diaper drives. She, care, she shares her faith by being a Eucharistic minister and a Kairos retreat leader, and is certain to be a faith-filled leader in her years to come. Bishop Hartley presents the 2020 Bishop Herman Service Award to Jenna Aramo. Jenna will attend The Ohio State University and major in secondary education. The Prudential Spirit of Community President's Volunteer Service Award recognizes Americans of all ages who have volunteered significant amounts of their time to serve their communities and their country and is granted by the Prudential Spirit of Community Awards Program. This year's recipient is Miles Smith. He will attend The Ohio State University and major in chemistry. The Salig family would like to present this scholarship in the name of their sister, Kate, a 1982 graduate of Bishop Hartley High School. Kate is the sixth of seven Saligs to graduate from Hartley. She went on to attend and graduate from The Ohio State University with a Bachelor in Arts History. Speaking on behalf of the Salik family, the individual chosen for this scholarship was required to submit a bucket list of their own goals, dreams, and aspirations with a brief explanation. Our sister Kate also had aspirations, goals, and dreams. While in high school at Hartley, she was involved in athletics and many extracurricular activities. In her 1982 senior yearbook, she was named as the student that did the most for our school. After high school and college, she was dedicated to her husband, Kurt, of 30 years, and her three children, who were all attending college at this time. She created a home filled with her creativity and family memories. Kate spent most of life happy. She stayed in touch with her Hartley friends, reached out in her community, gave to veterans past and present with gift cards as she crossed their paths, waved the flag on an overpass every September 11th, and provided a second chance at life to several individuals as an organ donor. We created this scholarship to pay it forward and to remember Kate. All of the applicants for this scholarship certainly deserve to receive it. Therefore, it was not easy to choose. The committee focused primarily on the content of the goals, dreams, and aspirations of each bucket list created by the applicants. And we truly hope that you are, sometime in your lives, able to achieve what you've set out to do. The recipient of this scholarship has many similarities to our sister, Kate. Like you, Gabrielle, my sister, Kate, spent many summers during her youth at the community pool at which she was a lifeguard and competitive swimmer. Then, while at Hartley and at OSU, she too played field hockey. Also like you, Gabrielle, our sister spent time fundraising for various causes in her community. Kate and the women's club of her parish church organization raised over $10,000 for needy families of her community through a rummage sale. But what seemed to highlight your bucket list was your desire to keep learning, especially in the areas that are totally new to you. With your love of writing, maybe you will have, maybe you will have, part, have a book published so that the challenges and new experiences that you face can be shared and enjoyed by others. Also, Gabrielle, in the not so distant future, you will be playing a new song on the guitar in Greece. Good luck at the University of Dayton, and remember to please give a shout out for all the Hartley Hawks when you see Dr. Phil. Congratulations, Gabrielle Jackson. The Whitehall Bexley Rotary Club Scholarship is an award given to the senior student that is best able to demonstrate how their academics, personal development, and community involvement best satisfy the four-way test of Rotary. The four-way test is a test used by Rotarians worldwide that acts as a moral code for personal and business relationships. 
The recipient of this year's award is Aaron Gardner. Aaron will attend Princeton University and major in computer science. The Kevin Mullen Latin Award, also known as the MVP, Most Virtuous Person Award, was established and is funded by Kevin's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Philip Mullen. Kevin was a Latin student of the highest virtue and accomplishment who passed away after a courageous battle with cancer. The award is presented to a graduating Latin IV student and is based on the following criteria, academic achievement, character, citizenship, and a genuine love of the language. This year's recipient is Christian Garcia Alvarez. Christian plans to enlist in the United States Air Force. The Anthony J. Balanca Award is an incentive that the NOI Foundation or the New Italian Horizons Foundation gives to the best senior in the Italian language program in their school. This year's Bishop Hartley recipient is Sophia Segletti. Each of the past six years, the Wendy O. Ward Foundation has awarded a scholarship to a graduating senior from one of the Columbus Diocesan High Schools. The purpose of the Wendy O. Ward Foundation Memorial Scholarship is to honor the memory of Wendy Ward, wife and mother of two, who tragically passed away on May 18, 2012, at the age of 32, after a two-year battle with breast cancer. Wendy excelled as a student at Bishop Lors High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and at the University of Dayton. Wendy always achieved great success at all levels of her education and in the areas of English, literature, and creative writing. To honor Wendy's memory and success in all her academic pursuits, her husband, Chris Ward, established this scholarship to provide a yearly award to graduating seniors for their hard work and excellence. This year's $5,000 scholarship is awarded to Bishop Hartley Sr., Genevieve Feaster. All the applicants for this year's scholarship were impressive, but Genevieve stood out from the rest with her impressive high school career of excellent grades, service, and leadership. The foundation wishes to recognize Genevieve for her devotion to creative writing through her Young Writers Workshops, District Honorable Mention in Power of the Pen, and her leadership at Bishop Hartley as an ambassador, house mentor, and founding member of the Care for Creation Club. Wendy would also be impressed by Genevieve's achievements and we are proud to select her as this year's scholarship winner to represent the Wendy O. Ward Foundation. Each year, the Superintendent of Catholic Schools selects the recipient of the T.J. Baseman Scholarship. The recipient must be a graduating senior from a Catholic high school within the Diocese of Columbus with consistently good grades and who is pursuing a post-secondary degree. This year's recipient is Andrea Bergman. Andrea plans to attend the University of Dayton and study business. The Ohio High School Athletic Association is presenting Scholar Athlete Awards in recognition of academic achievement while participating in sports. The guidelines for determining the recipients are the student must be a graduating senior, must have a minimum GPA of 3.25 at the end of the first semester of their senior year, must have taken either the ACT or SAT national test, and must have received a minimum of three varsity letters in one sport or four varsity letters in a combination of any two or more sports. The following 45 student athletes from the class of 2020 at Bishop Hartley are receiving this recognition. The Ohio High School Athletic Association continues to present the Courageous Athlete Award to one deserving individual from a member high school. The guidelines for determining the recipient are a student who either currently has or who has overcome a serious illness, injury, or disability, a student who has overcome great adversity in a positive way, 
a student who has gone far beyond normal in assisting a fellow student, family member, or friend, or other extraordinary situations where a student has displayed tremendous courage against overwhelming odds. This award is intended to bring credit to a very special student who has been involved in or supportive of the Interscholastic Athletic Program and who deserves recognition for courage. Congratulations to our 2020 OHSAA Courageous Athletic recipient, Angelo Evans. Angelo suffered a broken back during the track season his junior year and ended up missing the first half of the football season his senior year. He dedicated himself to the recovery process and worked his way back on the field. Angelo has earned varsity letters in football and track, and he will attend Columbus State Community College in the fall. The Ohio High School Athletic Association is presenting the Archie Griffin Sportsmanship Award to a senior boy and girl at each member of high school in recognition of their exemplary sportsmanship. Bishop Hartley's recipients are Michael Petrella and Audrey Ryan. Audrey has earned varsity letters in field hockey and lacrosse. She plans to attend The Ohio State University and major in neuroscience. Michael has lettered in wrestling and plans to attend Baldwin Wallace University and study accounting. The Ohio High School Athletic Association, along with the National Federation of High Schools, is presenting the National Award of Excellence to one male and one female senior student who has displayed exemplary sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity. This award is to be presented to a student who has exhibited qualities that embody good citizenship, good moral character, and good sporting behavior. Selection for this award includes individuals who are a positive role model for others and encourage others to be positive role models. This year's recipients are Jalen January and Isabella Hoffman. Jalen has earned a varsity letter in football and will attend the University of Finley and study finance. Isabella has lettered in field hockey and softball and plans to attend The Ohio State University and major in ph pharmaceutical sciences. Jack Ryan was a teacher and coach at St. Charles and Bishop Hartley for over 50 years. He coached football, basketball, and baseball over his lengthy career. Before he passed away several years ago, he became the only person in the nation to be inducted into his state's high school coaches Hall of Fame in all three sports. He was also inducted into the National High School Athletic Hall of Fame in California and was voted as the Central Ohio Coach of the Century for the 1900s. Bishop Hartley's recipient for the Jack Ryan Award is Miles Fleming. Miles has earned varsity letters in football and track. He will attend the University of Minnesota and major in sports management. Nora Hess is recognized as the pioneer of female athletics at Bishop Hartley. She was responsible for bringing in the athletic program from club level to the varsity level. She taught physical ed education and English, coached just about every female sport, and served as athletic director during her long career at Hartley. She passed away in 1980 after a courageous battle with cancer. Bishop Hartley's recipient of the Nora Hess Award is Bailey Smith. Bailey has lettered in cheerleading, swimming, indoor track, and track. Bailey attends to plan or plans to attend Tennessee State University and study broadcast journalism and political science. The Agonis Clubs Annual Scholar Athlete Awards Program began in 1928. The Agonis Club asked schools to use the following criteria when selecting one male and one female recipient. The students must have a B average. The students must have earned at least three letters in one varsity sport or four letters in a combination of two or more sports. Bishop Hartley's Agonis Female Scholar Athlete Award recipient is Gabrielle Jackson. Gabby has earned varsity letters in field hockey and swimming. She will attend the University of Dayton and study education or psychology. Bishop Hartley's Agonis Male Scholar Athlete Award recipient is Caleb Franz. Caleb has varsity letters in soccer and baseball. He plans to attend the University of Cincinnati and major in sports management and marketing. 
The Columbus Dispatch has established the Scholar Athlete Award to recognize outstanding achievements in scholastics, athletics, and leadership in school and community. Scholarships are awarded by the Motorist Insurance Group, Ohio Health Atlas Butler, and the family of Captain Warren B. Sneed, a 1991 Dispatch Scholar Athlete who died in 2000 defending our country. This year's Columbus Dispatch Scholar Athlete finalists are Mason Sawyer and Sophia Segletti. Mason has earned varsity letters in football and baseball. He will attend the University of Cumberland's and study sports management. Sophia has lettered in soccer and softball. The National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association has established the Scholar Athlete Award in recognition for both academic and athletic achievement by meeting the requirements of multi-season participation while maintaining an A and B grade point average. Bishop Hartley, recipient of the NIAAA Scholar Athlete Award is Libby Irwin. She has earned a varsity letter in bowling and plans to attend Walsh University to study pre-med. The National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association is recognizing student athletes for outstanding achievement in three seasons during the 2019-2020 school year. This year, Bishop Hartley has six recipients earning the three season athlete award. Cameron Johnson for cross country, indoor track and track. He plans to attend the United States Navy. Blessing Robinson, cheerleading for two seasons and bowling. She will attend Tuskegee University and study social work. Bailey Smith for cheerleading, swimming, indoor track and track. Miles Smith for soccer, indoor track, and track. Jason Stewart for soccer, indoor track, and track. He plans to attend the University of Cincinnati and study pre-medical sciences. Justin Stewart for soccer, indoor track, and track. He will attend the University of Cincinnati and is currently undecided. The following students have been offered athletic grants. The following student athletes are being recognized for continuing their athletic careers at the collegiate level. We would like to thank the following students for their future service to our country. Jermaine Albert, United States National Guard. Christian Garcia Alvarez, United States Air Force. Brian Hernandez, United States Marine Corps. Cameron Johnson, United States Navy. Faith Matfield, United States Navy. Eddie McCollum Jr. United States Air Force Reserves, Noah Pierce, United States Navy, and Allison Sisson, United States Navy Reserves. Our next awards are academic awards. Students receiving academic awards are being recognized for their outstanding achievement in particular subject areas. In addition to a student's grade, the following criteria are considered in this selection. Insight as well as knowledge, high level of effort and enthusiasm, class participation, and collegiality. For Religion 12, Andrea Bergman. Honors Religion 12, Caroline Leatherman. For English 12, Brian Hernandez, Lauren Sauer. For public speaking, Sahaya Clark Lee. Honors English 12, Aaron Gardner. AP English 12, Genevieve Feaster. College Prep Algebra and Trigonometry, Emma Steele. Precalculus, Gabby Jackson. Honors Calculus 1, Kieran Anderson. AP Calculus, Genevieve Feaster. 
Outstanding Senior Math Student, Ellie Tanner. Calculus 2, Braden Craig. Statistics, Lauren McFan. Environmental Science, Genevieve Feaster. Physiology, Sydney Gordon. AP Biology, Ellie Tanner. Forensic Science, Lauren Sauer. Physics, Carter Bjornsson and Caitlin McCarthy. Honors Physics, Andrea Bergman. Engineering Your World 2, Carter Bjornsson. AP Computer Science, Elise Amirati. AP US Government, Olivia Hager, Helena Donaghy. Sculpture, Grace Samler. Outstanding Photography Student, Lauren McFan. AP Studio Art also goes to Lauren McFan. Playwriting, Genevieve Feaster. Outstanding Choral Student, Julia Cashwell. Drama 2, Faith Stein. Musical Theater, Olivia Boback. Outstanding Band Student, Jason Stewart and Justin Stewart. AP French, Julia Cashwell and Genevieve Feaster. AP Italian, Sophia Segletti. Latin four, Christian Garcia Alvarez. Spanish four, Andrea Bergman. And Spanish five, Caitlin Sheely. Rich Mayo was a senior government teacher, algebra teacher, girls soccer coach, boys tennis coach, and freshman girls basketball coach at Hartley until his untimely death in February of 2000. The Rich Mayo Award honors the senior whose creed presentation is a creative representation of the young person's unique journey of personal growth, grit, and gratitude. This year's recipient was very poised and professional in her presentation. Sylvia incorporated poetry from Maya Angelou as the basis for her creed project. Congratulations to Sylvia Broby. She will attend Eastern Michigan and major in nursing. The National Honor Society was formed in 1921 to recognize and encourage academic achievement while developing other characteristics essential to building citizenship. The ideals of the society are scholarship, character, service, and leadership. Through NHS chapter service activities, members maintain and extend the qualities that won them selection. Membership to NHS is thus an honor and a commitment. We want to recognize the organizational and management skills of this year's officers who worked incredibly well together to lead the chapter as a team. We are especially grateful for the leadership of our senior president, Sophia Segletti. Each year, we would like to recognize students who have gone above and beyond in serving the Bishop Hartley and greater communities. The following two seniors were at the top of their class, each giving beyond 200 hours to their community in only three quarters. Libby Irwin, and Patrick Patty Page will receive the St. Teresa Service Award for the 2019-2020 school year. Both Libby and Patty have embodied St. Teresa's infamous quote, we cannot do great things, only small things with great love, as they have shown exceptional dedication to serving their community. By serving organizations like Firefighters for Kids, Children's Hospital, and the Ohio Bird Sanctuary, Libby has used her creative skills to knit caps for infants and even birds' nests. This is Libby's fourth time earning this award. Patty has worked with charitable organizations such as Friends of the Homeless and Ronald McDonald House, showing his dedication to the Catholic social teaching principle, the dignity of the human person. Hartley is blessed to have many students who have gone above and beyond this year, and together, Bishop Hartley students have completed 24,142.25 hours of community service in the 2019-2020 school year. Of that total, 6,500 hours were earned by the senior class alone. Well done. We are also proud to announce that we have an Eagle Scout in the class of 2020. 
approximately 4% of Boy Scouts achieve Eagle rank. The project to achieve this rank takes a year to plan, approve, and complete. This particular student built and installed bluebird houses along a nature space behind the Moose Lodge in Gahanna for a local charity organization. Congratulations to Matthew Nash on your achievement. At this time, I'm going to turn the mic over to Mr. Jahan, our house director, who will present the house leadership awards. Ellie, Gabby, Anna, Kiran, Mason, and Patty. We are so fortunate to have experienced your devotion, persistence, and creativity for the past 14 months. You six are the embodiment of our six school pillars and so much more. We will feel the impact of your leadership from initiatives to house days, well beyond your time. Our school, our community, and I have been so blessed by what you have done for our school. Please continue to carry your gifts and talents and share them in the next journey of your life. Thank you, Mr. Jahan. We would now like to unveil the total amount of academic scholarships this class has earned. This year's scholarship total is the most earned by any Hartley graduating class in our records history. This amount is even higher than the number that will be shared during graduation on Saturday as this assembly was filmed at a later date. Congratulations to the class of 2020 at Bishop Hartley High School who earned $18,933,328. This amount is exclusively merit-based academic scholarship money. This amount does not include athletic grants or need-based financial aid. Congratulations to all of our graduates. We are so very proud of you. We are now going to conclude our assembly today with our school captain singing our alma mater. Once the alma mater has been sung, the presentation of students ranked in the top 10% in the class of 2020, students who are, achieving, who are receiving a second academic bar, first academic bar, academic letters, and students who earned honor roll for three quarters during the 2019-2020 school year. Thank you, school captains. 